when it comes to planning and setting your goals, I believe that preparation is the key. If you don't know what action steps to take to achieve a certain goal, you are never going to achieve it. You're going to waste so much time and that is what the membership Goal Getters is all about. But today I'm gonna to be showing you a hack so that you can make the most of the time that you have available using ChatGPT. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice with their business systems and processes, getting them confident with admin and reducing tech overwhelm. Now, if you've never used ChatGPT before, I really recommend checking out this video where I walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up the system, how to personalize it, and how to use it. That's really gonna take away some of your anxiety and nervousness about using the system because it really can be so powerful as a tool for you in private practice. But today, I really wanna focus Focus on how you can use it to help you achieve your goals. So what we're going to do is jump into my computer and I'm going to show you step by step how ChatGPT can help you create your very first free page website. And this process can be used for any goal that you have for yourself in business and also in your personal life. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so when you have logged into your ChatGPT, and if you need to know how to set that up, you can check out last week's video. I will link that somewhere. You wanna start a new chat. And what we are going to do is give ChatGPT as much information as we can so that it can give us really good information back. The more you give it, the better the information back is gonna be. So I've already typed something out and I'm gonna read it out to you. So I've put, I'm a therapist in private practice and I need to create a free page website for my practice. I'd like to have this completed in 12 weeks with week one being the 1st of August, 2024. I have around five hours per week to dedicate to this task, but I have a two week holiday, week commencing the 15th and week commencing the 22nd of August, 2024, where I won't be able to do any work on this project. I have chosen to use Squarespace and I own a domain, but I have not yet signed up to Squarespace. I also need time to do some research around what I'd like to be on the pages as I haven't yet written the copy or taken any pictures for the website. My SMART goal is that I would like to create a free page website for my private practice by the 1st of November 2024. It will contain three pages, a home page, an about page and a service page. Based on the time I have available, can you please give me a weekly action plan for what I should do in the five hours I have available per week from the 1st of August to the 31st of October to achieve this goal? If you need to know any further information, please let me know. So let's see what ChatGPT has for us. Okay, so if we scroll back up, so here you can see it's broken it down. So in weeks one to two, we're doing preparation and research. So week one, we're signing up for Squarespace and choosing a template, and it's given us the time allocation for each of these things. So sign up to Squarespace, it's gonna take an hour. Browse and choose a template that aligns with your vision, two hours. Start researching other therapist websites for inspiration and make notes on what you'd like, two hours and then it keeps going on in week two, what we are working on. Weeks three and four, we've got a break for holiday, no work scheduled. Week five, we're finalizing content ideas and an initial draft. So it's given us all the breakdown of what it is that we're going to do. Now this is amazing. It's probably got things in here that you haven't thought about yourself, but we can take that even further. So let's say, okay, well I don't know how to sign up for Squarespace, so how do I do that? So we can copy this and we can say, thanks, because I'm always polite to chat GPT. Um, this is awesome. Can you help me break down this task even further? How do I sign up to Squarespace? Okay. So then we can ask it that. And here is a step-by-step -step guide of how you sign up for Squarespace. So this is just gonna go on and on and on, all of the different steps. But basically, you can just keep asking ChatGPT more and more questions to help you figure this out. So I'm just gonna scroll back up while it's still giving me all the steps for that, and let's see if we can find something else. 
Okay, so this one seems quite, um, outline the structure and key points for each page. So we can maybe ask ChatGPT, okay, what is a great structure for each of the pages? So let's ask it that as well. Okay, so just so you know, it's given us all these steps of how we would sign up to Squarespace. So you could just follow what ChatGPT is recommended. Now, obviously, you need to do your due diligence. This might not be the exact steps to set up a Squarespace account, but it's definitely going to be a really good starting point. Okay, so here we've got some detailed outlining key points for each of the three pages. So we've got the home page, what the purpose of it is, and then we've got the structure with the headers, the hero section, the introduction. This is just amazing and it's gonna help you out so much when it comes to creating your website homepage. Then we've got the same thing with the about page and the services page. So you can just keep asking and asking and asking ChatGPT for more help based on this. And also the more you speak to ChatGPT in this conversation, the more it's gonna learn about you and it's gonna get even more detailed on what you need. So I would highly recommend using ChatGPT to help you with your goals as a starting point. This might not be the finalized version of what you're working on. It might take you double the amount of time to sign up to Squarespace than ChatGPT is telling you it's going to take. I'm not saying this is like, you should just stick to this 100% and this is gonna be everything you need. It's probably not, but it's going to be an amazing starting point for you and also give you confidence that what it is that you want to achieve in any given quarter or any given time frame is achievable. So I would highly recommend just having a play with this. Just make sure to give it as much information as you can in the offset because that is really gonna help you when it comes back to ChatGPT's replies. And like I said, you can just keep asking it more and more and more, and then you can start moving this information onto some kind of project plan or onto your Google Calendar or something like that. I really hope you found that tutorial useful. I'd really love to know what your goals are for the rest of the year and if ChatGPT has been able to help you create an action plan. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. It really does help with the algorithm and getting my message out to more therapists in private practice. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.